We'll guide you through how to control your computer from your Android phone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and do this, we will be using Google Chrome, which is a free web browser by Google. So if you're yet to get it, go and download it and go and open it up. And then what we need to do is we need to go and search for Chrome Remote Desktop, just like so. And then go to the website remotedesktop.google.com. Then what we want to do is go and click on Access My Computer. And we now need to go and set this up. So click on the download icon. We'll get taken to the Chrome Web Store. And you want to click on Add to Chrome and click on Add Extension. And it will then go and be added. After you've added it, go to the top right and click on the puzzle piece. And we can then click on Chrome Remote Desktop. After you've added the extension, then click on the download button and it will start downloading the app. Head to the top right of Chrome and click on the download button and you can then go and run the installer. You'll get a Windows security pop-up which you need to agree to and you'll need to click on accept and install as well if you do agree. Enter a name for your computer. So I'll just go and name this Guide Realm, but you can name it what you want. And now you need to go and enter a pin. After you've entered it, you can then go and click on Start like this. And as you can see, mine now says Online. So come onto your Android device. And then what you need to do is go and open up the Play Store. Go to the top and click on the Search. And you need to go and search for Chrome Remote Desktop, just like so. And here it is at the top here. And you then want to go and install it. After it's finished, go and click on open. Now here we are, and it's super important that you're using the same Google account as you're using on your computer. I am, and as you can see in remote devices, I can go and see Guide Realm. And so to go and join it, go and click on it like so, and it'll then go and say connecting, and you need to go and enter the pin we just set up on our computer. I've now typed it in and I'll press on the arrow and it should now go and connect. I've got this pop-up which I'll go and click on allow, and as you can see, there is my computer. What you can do is click on the full screen button to make things a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see, there is my mouse there, so I can go and control that with my finger. So for example here, let me go and minimize off Chrome, and then we can go and access the rest of my computer. So I'll now go and close off this window, like so. It'll take a moment or two for you to get used to it, but then it's super straightforward. There are some settings you can change in the top right as well, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. 